Hey YouTube, this is your boy D Toss Everything back with another video. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, this is take two. <laughs> Second try trying to shoot this video. So we're gonna be talking about some options today. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some option prices. We're gonna. These are companies who have earnings next week. Uh, let's start here really quickly. We're gonna be looking at these right here. We're gonna be looking at SoFi. We're gonna look at Uber. Uh, we're gonna look at AMD. We're gonna take a look at Starbucks. We're gonna look at CVS. We, uh, we might take a look at WWE. Probably not though. Um, we're gonna look at Apple. We may take a look at BlockFi, Coinbase. We're for sure going to look at Apple. We may look at Shopify because that likes to move as well. Coinbase, DraftKings, Lyft. We're also going to check out Peloton. And we're going to look at AM. We might look at AMC depending on how fast I go. And again, I'm going to show you guys some option prices using the option profit calculator compared to me clicking on my phone. And then you guys can't see it. I don't like to go back and do no post editing. I like to shoot these things straight through and say it is what it is, pimpin. Uh, allow me a moment. All right, your boy's back. Got a phone call, got a phone call. All right, again, though, quickly, we're hitting SoFi, Uber, AMD, Starbucks. We're going to hit CVS. I don't know if I said CVS last time. Um... I might take a look at Etsy. I don't know anything really about Etsy. Um, no, we're not going to look at that. We're going to look at uh, Peloton. We're going to look at Apple. We're going to check out Shopify, Block, Coinbase, DraftKings, Lyft. And just because we like to do some speculative crazy stuff, we're going to take a look at AMC and look where our support levels are at. Some of these things I may already have lines on. Again, this is take two of this video. So I already got some lines for SoFi. I started doing some lines for Uber and then I got interrupted. So I didn't feel like going back trying to figure out where I left off. So we're just kicking this thing off again. So again, we're hitting it, started off with a little SoFi. And I had already hit the lines. So if we're looking at SoFi um, right now, um, and I have it on the day chart. That's what the D stand for, day chart. You look at your charts here we go three days 12 hours four hours one hour whatever the case may be you want to look at um, so again looking at so far um, here are our current levels we have this 490 level right here we have a 550 level we have this level at this 645 um, now so based off the current price right now being 623 yeah. um, All right. After hours, it went to peak over my line. Um, yeah, because I started this again um, after hours. Um, the market for retail had already closed, but I had started up in here. Um, and I see it went to peak over huh, right at the line. Okay. <clears throat> again, though, um, so far has earnings on Monday. So. We're going to wake up Monday morning. It's pre-market. We're going to see where it's at. We get to see the numbers. I'm going to say it this way. If you see, um, and let me also just point this out. The reason that you see this here down here uh, on the day chart, the day chart does not pick up after hours or pre-market stuff. Um, so you won't see those movements. So that's why I saying the price is at 623. Um, but again, here we are. There you go. Kids taking my drinks. Um, anyway, so we see that it's making a small uptrend. It kind of had like a double top right here, uh, based off going back to April the what that is, uh, April third, coming to right here April the twenty eighth. Um, so possible it could be a possible double top, making looking for it to come pull back. Um, but I'm really thinking 
Um, again, don't know any uh, earnings estimates or anything to that effect. Um, but what we want to look for to see that it breaks out, if you're looking towards the upside, up is literally moving up, downside moving down, if you don't know. Um, right now, we're literally only looking for this. If it breaks this line, uh, we're looking for this to cut, maybe come to uh, yeah. here. Let's go ahead and drop a line for this one. Okay. Now, okay. Play with your cube, son. So, reason that I'm picking this line at this 670. So, as you can see, we got this line, we got this candlestick right here at that 670. We got this one kind of topping off on there. And then, uh, again, let's go and scroll over. The 670, you see this candlestick opened here, um, and this candlestick opened here. So this was, dude, you can't do this? There you go. Um, so I'm looking at the 670 could be our next uh, set of resistance. So it may not fly over 670. Um, now, if it goes past 670, um, we're looking to maybe then push to this seven dollar level um yeah maybe around this seven dollar level um so looking at the options on these how can i help you you just stuck it on there dude sorry i dropped it let me move my computer over uh, i'm gonna say this is for adults can't have the kids in the video there you go son um but we're looking at this seven dollar level as our next possible resistance point uh, where it may hit off this and stop now should it pass this seven dollar level um, our next stop is around the 733 to let's just say 750. so let's go and take a look at some quick option prices um right now though my assumption is just kind of based off of this um again i I don't watch so far, so I don't know how it normally moves. However, uh, should it break this for Ernest, this, it could move up into this $8 level. Now, Ernest could push it up to 8 uh, on its own. Um, and if that's the case, we could end up around this $9 level uh, where our next liquidity, where some liquidity is sitting at. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some option prices. Options. So. Calls are here on the left, puts on the right. This is the option profit calculator. It's totally free to anyone. It's just simply a website. You go in, you type in the stock symbol, and you get it. So let's just, let's do it. Let's go. Uh, we're going to just change it up just for a moment. So that way you can see I'm showing you Mike. We'll do Microsoft here quickly. And then prices this upcoming Friday, May 5th. Here's what the here's what the option prices are for a put I would tell you always look at the ass the mid is good too sometimes but I would tell you look at the ass um, and then here's for the calls so um, but that's not what we're looking at uh, we're looking at so far dude just push it on Yeah, make me have to turn all the way, dude. You're trying to get all the way in my video. Um, but anyway, so let's go again, go to SoFi. And when you hit the get price, it'll give you the current stock price. So it's giving you the after hours price. Uh, so it's 6.49, or at least the last time it clocked it. Uh, so let's select options. Again, it, it automatically puts you on that next Friday's option because today is now the 29th. So. Um, if we're looking towards the upside, um, as you can see, a $7 call would be $0.21 cent or $21. Um, and just looking at these different prices, um, if we're looking to the downside, um, here we are right here. Now, I'm not going over the uh, deltas or thetas today because um, Option Profit Calculator does not show you the deltas and thetas. Uh, um, and I just want you guys to really see the price today um, of what it was or what it is. Um, get price. Select option. Okay, there we go. Um, so, now again, if you think it's coming down, 
Uh, I would say, again, depending on where it opens up at um, and how flat it is, you just kind of keep these levels in place or, you know, in, your, in the back of your mind. Because uh, if it, let's just say, for example, you wake up Monday morning and so far is up there at this, you know, 730 level, you have to really see if it's moving because it could do immediately reverse back a pullback. Or it could just keep running and go up here to this, you know, this 850 level. Um, I don't know what it's going to do. Again, because I'm not a psychic friend. Um, but those are levels for you to look at. Let's go ahead and put us another line uh, for these these other levels. Uh, we're going to drop us one there. Um, and we're going to drop one... Now we're gonna drop one more. We're gonna drop it there at 844. Cause those are just wicks on these on the day they came up and then close um, that high. So we're just gonna stop it there. Um, now if you cross, if we cross this 844 and you see it still moving, look for it to come up here. Cause there is a small gap. And if, I haven't, if you haven't heard this before though, stocks love to clear gaps. It, they love to clear gaps. Now keep in mind though, SoFi hasn't been this high back, that was a year ago last time it was this high. So I don't think it's gonna go up that high, especially with uh, the term or term oil with, uh, finance, with the finance sector. So if we may get a push up, we may not, um, but keep that, you know, in the forefront of your mind, hey, this is a finance, they are a financial technology company, so they may be a little less reluctant, a little bit more reluctant on, you know, providing loans, which, you know, improves their balance sheet. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move to the next. What are we looking at next? Go to the back to our Discord. We said we were taking a look at Uber next. Let's go to Uber. Go Uber. Uber. Okay, so Uber, these are some old lines that I had. Uh, now, this right here is a gap. Uh, so I, I boxed out my gap. Um, now, I have this alert right here uh, for something I was playing with Uber. I missed it uh, a couple of times because uh, I set this alert sometime in March. Maybe the beginning of April. Mm. I don't know when I set this alert. Let me not even act like I know. Uh, Trading View doesn't let you go back and see when you set an alert. Um, but right now, it's kind of based off these lines. Uh, this line is green just because that was the color I was on when I drew it. I guess I could change the color right now. But am I? No. Um, and again, these are just old lines that I had. Um, lines, for the most part, do not change. These support resistance levels. Um, because old support could become now resistance and it's vice versa. Old resistance could become now new support. So just looking at this right now, um, hmm. Uber look like it's about to head back up. Uh, I'm sure Uber is going to be reporting a good earnings in the sense of uh, more people are probably now taking Uber rides than before. Uh, especially seeing that the you know the world has been back open for a while, um, but there's there's more Uber drivers than ever before. So people ain't Uber driving, ain't people taking these Uber and Lyft rides, right? That would be kind of you know a common sense duh moment. So I'm looking at Uber right now. Um, if it does cross back over this uh, this yellow line, um, it's like 31.69, 31.59. 3180. Um, at that point, I'm looking for it to push up. Again, Uber is doing earnings on Tuesday, so we can definitely get into this one. Um, now, let's scroll out. So, as you can see, it's been using this line right here, this in essence 2950, um, as some support. And it's, when it comes down here, it goes to bounce back up. So, 
I'm looking for this to come back up here and maybe even get to maybe this $34, $35 level. Uh, uh, let's not say $34, $35. Let's say because current price is $31. Let's say um, about $33. So maybe a possible $2 move. Uh, so let's go into our option profit calculator. I'm going to go Uber. Got price. We're going to select options. Now, if you're thinking that you're going to be riding Uber over the long term, is going to move up. Um, keep in mind on the option profit calculator, you don't have to do the 5th of May. You can move out to the 12th of May. You can go way out here to January 2025. Let's just click on January 2025. If you really thought Uber was going to go up, you can get this $650 call. You got two years to be right, a year and a half. Yeah, because 23. So you like you got like a year and a half to be right. So, um, but we're just gonna look for the the current week. So we're gonna go May 5th. Uh, looking at the calls. Uh, again, I was looking at that 33. So 33 would be cost of 70 or 71 bucks to get in. Uh, if you want to be closer to in the money or at the money, um, and you got it to play. Um, I would tell you to get closer to the money, so maybe look at this 3150, um, and then that way, if it does move to 3233, it'll put you in the money, which is then going to pay you out a little bit more. Um, but if you want to be safe, oh, hold on, let me not say want to be safe, because none of these things are safe. Again, uh, I always, I will always tell you, option trading is gambling. Professional traders would tell you, no, this ain't gambling. You just don't know what you're doing. And I, my, my same response is always, you name me two things that you, three things that you can put your money on the line and it's all gone without you having any control besides gambling and getting robbed. I, I, if you give me a third one, I, I say this is no longer gambling. I haven't been able to figure out another one that's something legitimately besides that you can put your money on the line and you look up, it can be all gone in the blank of an eye. Besides gambling and you getting robbed. So again, I'm going to say this is always gambling because you, you have no control over the outcome or the stakes. You can't count cards. You can't defend yourself. Like at least somebody's trying to rob you can at least attempt to defend yourself, get your stuff back. This you have no options. You are either you're on the right side or the wrong side of this, and that's all it is. So this is why this is outright gambling. Now, so um, but again, uh, should I get into this um, based off of where we were looking at for our levels? Uh, I would probably look at the thirty-two dollar call because, um, as you can see, over the last you know two months, uh, you know, going all the way back to January. We haven't really dipped beneath this $29. So uh, I would then really be looking forward to maybe push up to about here, to this 33. So I would be, oh, wrong by my apologies. I would probably be looking to split the difference, maybe get this 32 fifth or maybe the $32 call. Uh, hell, maybe even get the $31 call. So that way, if it does push up here, this 150 could possibly turn it into like 200 bucks or like 225 230 um again i did not look at any deltas or thetas to see what time decay is saying also keep in mind these prices that we see today today is saturday uh, are going to be less on monday uh, when the market opens unless there is some type of wild price change uh, because theta is going to make these option prices decrease now looking towards the downside I would probably take the $30 put thinking that it's going to come back down to that $29, $29.50. Again, let's take a look. Uh, we were right here. So I'm thinking, okay, it may come test this $28 uh, to see if this is still some support or maybe just this, uh, this $29.50. Yeah, like so uh, seeing I'm thinking this $29.50 is support, uh, so I would not play the $29.50. I would probably play either this 3050 or the 31. So that way if it came down to 29, it'll pay me out a little bit more. All right, so that's our Uber and SoFi so far. 
Uh, let's go to our next one. What are we looking at next? So we're going to take a look at AMD. Now, AMD, I'm looking at a call. I'm telling you not. I ain't even looked at AMD, but I'm looking at a call. Now, uh, I had a prior video about AMD. This W I drew out, I've been drew this W out. And man, you see it almost was in my W? It was like almost in my little fictional line W that I drew. I'm pretty good at this, folks. I'm pretty good at this. So, just looking at this now, I'm really thinking, uh, well, yes, I can help you. You know how to do this, dude. Uh, I'm really up front. I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to come back up here to this 90, to this $90 level. Dude. You're welcome. Thank you for saying thank you. Thank you. All right. So after earnings, I'm really looking for this to blow through all this sale pressure uh, and give us like a long quick like this on the day and push us back up here to like this 95 level, uh, 96 level right here. Could even push up to 100. Uh, reason that I'm saying that it's going that high because uh, Microsoft um, and their earnings just pushed up. AMD makes chips. I think this laptop I got here got is it got AMD on it. I can't tell. I have to pick it up and flip it over. I'm not going through that. Um, but I think um, we're moving up. Now, if we don't move up, uh, and as you can see, like when I was telling you guys just on the last video, we have gaps. <laughs> Companies love, let me not say companies, stocks love to come back and fill gaps. We have this gap right here, back from September. <laughs> I pulled it out. I didn't play my gap. And then it came and cleaned up the gap in February. Stocks at some point in time is going to come back and clean up these. Uh, let me not say that because this guy way down here. That might be, that might be done done. But uh, let's go stretch this out some though so we can pull it over. Uh, let's make this one bigger. Uh, let's go pull this over first. Yeah, but based off uh, Microsoft having a good earnings, uh, I do think AMD is going to move up just simply based off of uh, their chips are in a lot of computers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this, erase this W because that's played out like down there to the T. Man, I'm good at this. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. And we're going to close this out too. Um, as you see, I already had this here. I was waiting on it to play out and I didn't have myself an alert and it played out and I didn't play. So we're going to clear out this gap as well. Now, it's still charged. You got to wait. Nope, that is not charging it at all. I'm sorry. Hold on. No, nope, that got to charge it for a few minutes, okay? All right, but you're seeing where our AMD is sitting at right now. So if we were just looking across, because you see the green line there, uh, it's almost like you see how these other candlesticks here are, again, just sitting um, like almost on top of it or right below it. So this is letting me know, without me even needing to draw a line, here is some support, like slash resistance. Uh, right now it's resistance, uh, reason being, because it stopped here. This candlestick stopped as well, but then something spiked it up. And then it came right back down below it and then came here. So I'm really thinking uh, how we had this W here. I'm really thinking we're about to bring out another W. So maybe we get to like this 95 level. And maybe it won't come all the way back up into 100 right now. I think we can probably get this 95 uh, right here. And then probably some type of, you know, continuation up up and down a little bit. And then another pullback. And then another spike. So uh, let's go ahead and just draw it out now. We're going to draw it out now, what I'm thinking. And we're going to come back in a month or so and see if you're right. Oh, what's this I'm doing? 
I don't know what that, I don't even know what that is. Let's get the brush. No, we need the highlighter. So, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this. Then I'm thinking here. And then I'm thinking this. All right, that's what I'm thinking. Could be wrong, but that's what your boy thinking right now. So, uh, again, there's no data to show me saying it's going to no 108. I mean, we do have this uh, back from July, but that's what I'm thinking. The oh, man, don't do that. Move your butt up. I think this is what we're doing. And it may not even pull back this far, but it's going to be close. You saw my other W. It was real close. It's almost spot on. We had this right here, and then it's pulled back, and then it shot back up and got up here. Um, but this is what I'm looking at right now, uh, what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options really quickly. Let's go ahead and check out this AMD. Again, yeah, apologize. This video is long. It's too long for you. My apologies. Play it in fast forward, two times speed. I don't believe I'm speaking too fast. Um, but looking at this call, I'll probably take this this 120, excuse me, this 95 call. Uh, now I'll probably take this 95 call because if it even gets close to to like right here, this 95 will turn into like this 299, maybe 300 bucks. So just putting it right at the money. So if you want to be in the money, see how like this one is? You want to get closer to this four, 500 bucks, the closer to in the money that you get, the more this number, you'll start seeing this number. So you may want to get maybe this 92, and then that way it'll put you in the money. So this 92 dollar call at 216, 219, I'll probably make you 200 bucks and make it look like 460, 465. Um, if you're thinking the other way, looking to the downside, uh, let's look to the downside fairly quickly. This A, um, I would probably say like this 85, if you're looking towards the downside. Um, so 85, again, if you want to try, it's the 150 bucks for that put. So I would probably tell you to take the 87. So that way, again, it'll put you in the money, and then it'll like this 217 could probably turn it into 470 um, would be again just my thoughts and suggestion to you um, in regards to that um, let's go ahead and move on let's catch our next one what would we say we're looking at next I don't know forgot I want to look at forward man forget forward man we need to do a, just do a put on forward they ain't selling no cars bro they ain't selling no cars. Just do a put. I don't know what what it is. Just do a put. They ain't selling no cars. So let's go ahead and go to Starbucks. Starbucks. Starbizzles. Again, this is something else I played in the past. Already had some lines. I don't know where it's going. I don't know where it's going. I'm telling you right now, I don't know where it's going. It's at the top of this line. I wish I'd have been watching this, bro. I'd have been killing them. I'd have been killing them. I don't even know when I drew this. Do I got any notes on here? Sometimes I make some notes and write some stuff and I be throwing it away around somewhere. I ain't got no notes, bro. Like, so here, here's me real talk saying, I don't know. Is that, is that resistance right now? What? It's literally at resistance right now. If it goes to this 121, we're back at all-time highs. Let's go pre-COVID. Here's pre-COVID over here. Yeah, man. I, I this one I, I have no clue. I have no clue. Y'all go if y'all go to Starbucks, man. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what y'all think. I don't go to Starbucks. Starbucks costs too much, I, and I don't drink coffee, so it's a double. Like, why would I go? Uh, why would I even know? But again, y'all see this W? W for the win. Um, I'm really asking, questioning myself, when the hell did I draw these lines? 
I don't know. I must have drew these lines back here around this earnings. I drew in this gap, so, and I drew in this gap. And I drew in this gap. Okay, so it had to be around this earnest. So I probably must have did this. When is this? Um, when was earnings? February the second. So I must have did it around there somewhere, right before February the second, uh, for me to have drew this gap in. Um, and I would have been looking to play earnings. Um, and I didn't draw another gap here in February when it pulled back. So I clearly haven't looked at it since then. Wait a minute. Boy, man, I'm good at these lines, aren't I? I'm amazing at these lines. Uh, now, yeah, fam, I really don't know what to do. Uh, let's go. No, I'm about to do something wrong. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go here. We're going to close this out. We're going to take a look. Starbucks. Uh, Star Bizzles. 114. Let's check out some option prices. May 5th, we're looking at a call. If we think it's going to 120, like, I would probably tell you to get the, again, splitting the difference, maybe get the 117. If it does, that'll probably turn into 300 bucks. Uh, looking for the pullback, uh, maybe to this 110, maybe. Looking for a pullback. Because it did a W. Now it's probably time for an M. So to pull back to maybe like this 109, 110 level. And then before it pulls back up. So we might be able to play this twice this week before earnings. When is earnings again? It's slowed down the cobra. Where's Starbucks? No, don't don't try to play that twice. Because they report earnings on Tuesday. So you'll be trying to play this Monday, getting out Monday, and then trying to get back in Tuesday. So uh, let's check this out again on Monday and see what we have. Um, but if we're looking at the pullback, maybe to like this 110. Uh, let's go here. 110 put is 131 bucks. Again, splitting the difference between where it's at now at the money and where we think it's going is one, this 112 at 194. So again, if we if it does move to this 190 to this 112, we can probably turn this 194 to 278, 328, somewhere between there. So now that'll be a nice uh, you know picking up almost 200. Well, that's you know, almost picking up 100 bucks. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our next one, Starbucks. Let's check out good old CVS. Thank you, CVS. A call. I got some. I may still have some lines from CVS because I did play earnings on CVS uh, earlier. I played this last earnings. No, I didn't. I played this earnings. I played this one. I didn't play this one. CVS is down like a mug. Jeez. So, we're going to. Uh, This one, two, three, four thing. This is something I was just trying to test out. Uh, CVS is getting smelled. They're sitting. So right now, CVS is sitting on some support right now. Because you see these lines way back here from December. Uh... So this was kind of like some resistance up here. Then it broke out above. Um, it went to come back in down a little bit. And then it's breaking back up to this current support. So based off of that, and again, do y'all see the W? Do you see the W? I'm going to stop for three seconds. Again, I ask you, do you see the W that's about to form? Three, two, one. Thought I was going to shoot a bird at you. No, I wasn't. Uh, but see the W right here? Down. And it's starting to pull back up. So, I'm not saying that it's going to break all the way back up here and finish out no W. That would be crazy for me to say that. 
However, if we just stretch this out just a little bit. Let's make that a little bit bigger for you guys. If we make, if we look right here, again, this is what I'm saying. Like I have no, no nothing on him, but just the, I have no, no nothing else on it. I just got the candlesticks. Because if you can't see these lines without the candlesticks, don't trade. So if we see the support right about right here. So and you see my perforated dotted line. I'm um, going all the way back over to July. We got multiple stops where it kind of used that as resistance and then it popped above and it came back. So I'm really thinking this $80 is a good place um, for CVS to move up to. Uh, and should it break out, we can be looking at CVS to possibly go come back up into this $83, $84. Um, and if it breaks that, then these pink lines are back in play because then from here we got no more you know resistance until well this is 85 so we kind of got some resistance there that's almost 86 dollars but i would assume it would blow past that and that'll put us back up into this 89 90 dollar level now i'm sure i feel i go to cbs on a regular basis uh, now I'm saying on a regular basis, but when I need to get something, I go to CVS. And CVS is always busy. So I'm really thinking to call on CVS. Um, let's go to our calculator. Shout out to Options Profit Calculator. Yeah, 73.72. We're looking at this Friday. We're going to take a look at the call. Ooh, we that eighty dollar call is fourteen dollars. Man, I'm about to get me three seventy seven dollar calls, maybe even four. Hell, I may get ten. And then that thing go to eighty five. This forty five is gonna turn to like four hundred bucks. It's gonna turn into like 400 bucks, bro, putting this in the money. This $45 is gonna turn into like 400 bucks. We're playing the CVS call, we're playing the CVS call, but we gotta, again, uh, let's look at for some resistance fairly quickly. Um, and our next level of, you know, support below. That'll put us about right here at this 70. And if it breaks that, we're looking at this uh, 68 and about right there to 65. And what's the 65? So I would tell you, if you're going to play, maybe just get the, maybe get the 68 put as well. It's 27. You get maybe one of those or two of those to offset. The rest of this, because in case it does pull back on you, will lose this for however this will put you back in the game and let you at least maybe possibly break even. Um, yeah, so now I did not see any gap that we were playing. Apparently, there's some type of gap up here because I drew some line back here in December. Uh, yeah, because this is the last time I played Ernest. I, I played this one. I didn't play no CVS to the downside. Hmm. If I had to have played this, I looked at this since January. I may have played this one because I remember playing a call. So I must have played this one and it popped up. And then after it popped up, it must have just fell to the floor. Okay. But yeah, I'm thinking though, um, again, looking at the $80 call because I'm thinking this W come here. And they break out and at least bring us back here um, is what I'm thinking. And then this would be, oh, if it breaks this, this thing getting ready to go up is going to rock it. So that's what I'm thinking for CVS. What we're looking at next. Um, are we looking at anything else for this day? CVS. Do, 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 do. I don't even know if WWE is tradable. I don't even know what's going on with WWE right now. Uh, yeah, so we're going to leave that alone. Sunrun, we're going to leave alone. 
I'm gonna leave Antsy alone too. So let's go and just keep going. We're gonna look at Peloton. Peloton. P E L O. Peloton. Peton. 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 I had some lines for Peton. I stopped them way back here in February. And this one I just pulled out extra far just says for whatever. Um. Again, do you guys see the W about to play out? Do you guys see the W about to play out? Let's go back to January last year, just for a moment. Because, again, I'm thinking Peloton is moving up just simply based off of, like, people always say, oh, I got my New Year's resolution. They probably got these Peloton bikes at the house or whatever, and they're like, yeah, let me renew my subscription and push this thing way on up. So... Now that that thing getting ready to go. Whoa, Peloton is eight dollars. Good gracious, Peloton! Y'all got smelled last year. Jeez. Um. Okay. But do you see the W, man? Do y'all see these Ws? Look for Ws and Ms. A W for the win. Up west side till you die. M. Still a W, man. Listen. Look for these Ws for the win, regardless up or down. Look for these Ws for the win. And this is what we're looking for, a W for the win, right? So we're coming down, up, down. It's like sitting on some support. Now, it could break down to this uh, straight up $8 level, 688. I don't think you're coming down that far. Uh, so look for Peloton to move up maybe to maybe about $11. Again, these are old lines that I have from... Like, you see, I, I, I like to extend them out past and put them out in the future. Um, I hadn't looked at Peloton for a while. I probably looked at Peloton, this earnings right here. More than likely, because based off of me only pulling this one out to right there, because I would have been grabbing these highs, grab that high, and been like, okay, <clears throat> and then using these supports. Wow, man, you are amazing at these charting, bro. Um, but yeah, so maybe we can get back up here. Uh, let's go and bring that on out some more. Uh, do we got anything here? Not really. We may have got something right here. Now, do I think we're going to 14 bucks or 15 bucks? Me personally, no. But y'all saw what happened last January. Again, y'all saw what happened last January for Ernest. That thing was here. And February the 4th. And then that thing went way up here to 40. 25 to 40. Don't come trying to get in my photo. Yes, how can I help you? Phone. What? Phone. You want the phone? It's only got 20%. Hold on. You got to wait for it to turn on. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking for maybe this $11. So let's go ahead and get, uh, go to our option profit calculator. Put in this piton. Look at some options this Friday. <laughs> Depending on the Delta, uh, let's just take a quick one. I got to pull out my phone so we can look at this Delta. Right now, I'm thinking no. To be honest with you, right now, I'm thinking no way, no how, no sir. Do you play with this? Piton. Volume has only been five million. Call the ten dollar call. The delta is pretty good, and that that gamma is pretty good. But the volatility is super high. There's not a ton of volume to push this up. You're gonna get smoked, like barbecue smoked, like 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 church's chicken fried. Like you're gonna be. Now, Church of Chicken is, uh, is amazing chicken. Hold on, let me stop there. But your ass will be cooked 
And not in a good way. If the volume don't go in your favor. This implied volatility is almost 200%. Good gracious. But these deltas look amazing. And these gamma look amazing. If this thing fly, it is going to fly. When I tell you, that you can, if it does fly, you can turn these $72 or the $70 right here call. And it goes, you can end up being, $70 can end up being three, $4. Dollars. Uh, three or four hundred dollars, excuse me. So, definitely play that one at your own risk. I made Lee Peloton alone. Let's go. What are we looking at next? Where was Peloton? Where's Peton at? Peton's right here. Uh, all right, let's. We're gonna go. We're gonna save Apple for last. Let's go from down, bottom up. Uh, Lyft. We're gonna start with Lyft. Now, I'm thinking Lyft. Let's look for Lyft for a call. Let's look for Lyft for a call. We already looked at Uber. Uber and Lyft are about, you know, are pretty nice with each other. Um, again, we're only looking at the day chart. If you looked at my prior videos, you saw I was doing like the four hour chart to draw out a lot of these lines. Uh, so last time I must have been looking at this because I drew a line from here and I drew it right there. And I would have been drawing based off of this stuff here. And I would have been using these supports or resistance lines. And I would have been grabbing this. So I clearly did not look at this here. But do y'all see this gigantic gap? Do y'all see this gap? Now, two things I'm going to say. Do you again see this gap? Second thing is just saw an article. Left um, new CEO just fired a thousand corporate workers. Normally people, you hear people getting fired. It's not a good thing. But with this turbulent, crazy stock market, companies firing people are good things. So. Look for this gap to be filled, bro. Look for this gap to be filled. Do not look at no puts. Do not look at a put. Do you hear me again? Do not look at a put. Look for a call, bro. Look for a call. This thing getting ready to go clean up this gap. It's getting ready to go clean up this whole entire gap. Now, we see we got some, and I ain't saying when it's going to do it. Like, if it's going to be just on earnings, it may just creep us through um, through the week. And then we end up right here at the end of the week. That totally could be the case. Um, so I'm going to try to jump on this on probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, wow. That's a huge gap, bro. It's a $5 gap. It's a $5 gap, bro. We're going to get some of this money, folks. Oh, good gracious, there's another one right here, man. If this thing, now... Let's go ahead and draw in our, let's, let's be responsible. Let's draw out our, our stuff, our technical indicators. Not indicators, but let's go ahead and draw out our gap. Let's go here, we're gonna go there. Guys, nothing. You didn't even draw nothing. What did you draw? What happened to the Pixar I made? That's a small Pixar? Yeah. Um, this, this small Pixar. I, I put the scissors away. You have to wait, okay? Dad is almost finished, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, and let's throw this this thing here away. Uh, I'm going to throw that away because that ain't valid no more. Uh, let's go ahead and get us another one. We're going to make this green. Maybe it's a darker green. And then let's uh, go ahead and get us another box here. And even though it came all the way down here, some of the gap is being filled, as we can clearly see. Uh, so we're just going to go to there. We're going to hit it like that. Now, if we cross this 18, hold on, if we can get to this uh, 16, and it clears this, this 1650 as resistance, Right here, because hold on, first and foremost, we got resistance here at this 14 bucks. We got resistance up here at this 16. We got more resistance right here at this 1830. Yes, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. What do you want? I want right. What? I want right. You want a right? Right. Go get it. Um, and. Yeah, so we could possibly get up to this $18. If we get past this 18, 
our next resistance is right here like this 2035 $20 level if we pass that we got this 21 22 possibly rolling all the way up here to this almost $30 okay so we got these two gaps again I'm not looking at no puts for them left I mean I don't even know where they can go down to let's, let's go ahead and shrink this thing on down it ain't no further to go. I mean, the only place it can go is out of business. And I don't think that's getting ready to happen. So, let's look at these gaps right here. Um, and Uber is going to be a good sign. Because, again, when we have Uber earnings, we got Uber earnings uh, Tuesday before open. Uh, if we see a good spike on Uber moving up, expect, I'm going to say expect Lyft to follow along. Um now let's go ahead and again take a look at these option profit calculator lift i can't spell lift i don't know why i put the t back there like what is this um let's select options this friday we're looking at calls now again we were thinking it's going to 14 dollars the 14 dollar call is eight bucks we'll probably get maybe either this 11 Maybe in this 1050, depending on where the open interest is at. Um, but probably aim at this $11 call at 52 cents. Um, and if that put us in the money, this 52 could turn into okay. maybe like 233, 230. Because uh, it'll put us like $4 into the money if it goes to this four, 14. Even if you get the $14 call. A $14 call can go from $8 to $38, so you'll be making like $30 a contract possibly. Um, so just kind of look at it that way. Uh, but yeah, we're looking at calls for Lyft this week. It's going to really come clean up this gap. So let's go and get this money. Let's go and clean up this gap. Let's get it. Uh, what we got next? I think we got DraftKings next. Yeah, we got DraftKings next. Um, we're just going to do, put that in here first. We're going to do it in reverse this time. We're going to do DraftKings. Can't even think of, what is DraftKings? T maybe? I don't know. I apparently typed something wrong. I don't even know what DraftKings symbol is. I think I got it on my thing over here, though. Do I got DraftKings? Yeah, we got DraftKings, right? We're going to click on it from here. Oh, I have some prior lines from DraftKings. As you can see, last time I was looking at DraftKings, it was way down here, 17. Now, it's currently, as you can see, and you see what it did right here. Again, this is all teachable stuff. Um, like we, I would have probably selected this as like some resistance. You see it bust over this resistance and came back. Uh, now, I don't know what DraftKings is getting ready to do. Let me be super clear. I don't know. I don't know. Now, but based off of where we're at now, um, we could possibly look for this to push up to maybe this $23, $24 level. If not, if it does not push up, uh, we can probably expect DraftKings to come back down here to like this $20. Um, again, you see this 20, we got these touches here, we got those touches there, we got these touches here. And we got this little small gap right here as well, like a teeny, teeny, teeny gap. That's like 50 cent. So we got these little gaps right here. Um, so it's a good possibility that it could come back down. Uh, and this could be making an M. Again, that W for the win. Think about your W for the win is going up. Your M, W is going down for the win. The whole key to this is winning, right? That's the only key to this is winning. So it could be doing this. It could be going up. And then it did this, and then it may trade sideways, and then come dump back down to like this 1950. If not, if it push up, look for it to go to 2425, man. Like straight up, look for it to go 2425. And if we pass that, I mean, like they go 26, and then we got 28. So. It's time to push it. Um, if you do do this. Make sure you see where it's at now. If you look up on, you know, Thursday before earnings and you see it's already up here, I'm going to tell you to stay out. 
I'm going to just tell you to stay out because you don't know what it's getting ready to do. Uh, and do I think it's getting ready to be like, oh, phew, boom, way up here? It could. It totally could. Do I think that? No. Because we're in a recession, right? We're in a recession. Eggs cost $800 million an egg, right? Who's out here gambling, right? I am. I guess I'm playing. <laughs> I'm gambling, huh? I'm over here option trades, I guess. Let me not say who's gambling. Lots of people are gambling. You, you need help? Yeah. <laughs> you, you know this one is Jason's, right? This one ain't yours. Yours is upstairs. Put the top back on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, put the top on. There you go. Okay, but yeah, let's go ahead. What's DraftKings? DKNG. I couldn't even think about what the name of it was. Uh, I put Drift. <laughs> Snake King. I don't know what that is either. DraftKings. Did I put it in right this time? Apparently not. What's this thing? DKNG. DKNG. Okay. DKNG. Let's see what these options are for this Friday. If we're looking at the call, the $23 call, and again, we were looking at this thing saying it's at 21. We're thinking, okay, it can hit to this 23, 24 level. So uh, looking at that, 23. You probably want to take the 23 and let it push you to maybe like a forty a forty dollar game and get up out of there. Um if you buy multiple contracts, I would say once you get up forty, fifty bucks, sell a couple and hold one as a as a hope and a prayer. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, oh sixty dollars. Now imagine if it go from this twenty one to that forty. Man, that thing will go this sixty three dollar one to end up being like a thousand dollars, bro. That thing go like that. Uh, up twenty bucks. Uh, but yeah, look at that sixty three, maybe. Or if you want to be really safe, get the twenty two. And if you can still get multiple, get multiple, and then uh, stay out. Uh, if you think it's gonna come down, if you think it's gonna come down to what we were looking at, like this uh, this nineteen eighty five. But if it clears this 1985, look for it to come back to the 16, straight up. Because there's no, there's really no support. I mean, you got these touches here, but these touches all then came down here. So here's really where the support is at. So if we clear this like 19, uh, this 1960, 1985, something like that, look for this thing to come back to the 1689. So if we're looking at a put. I would say you probably look at the the 2050 put or maybe the 21 and then let it push you the same way I was saying this one let it push you up now this one for sure ain't getting ready to go to eight dollars so look for a quick twenty thirty dollars grab get up get out and get gone okay um, let's check out our next thing say so we're moving up coinbase coinbase look at um, Bitcoin first and let Bitcoin. that determine what you're going to do a call or a put well we're still going to look at the technicals but let Bitcoin dictate what is getting ready to happen for you okay let Bitcoin determine what is going to happen for you let me say it one last time let Bitcoin determine what is going to happen if Bitcoin is on the move up or down Coinbase is going to fall. Period. End of story. I don't care what this this is. It's saying blah, 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 blah. Let Bitcoin determine the way that um, Coinbase is going to move. Okay? Now, just looking at this, you see this huge run up right here? This was when, uh, no, this one right here. I should have been looking. I, didn't, I totally wasn't looking at it back in March. But just a couple of weeks ago, about two or three weeks ago, Bitcoin was here at this 60, and in two days, it went to 
like 70 and that was because Bitcoin ran up and Coinbase just simply followed. Now we're looking at the technical analysis again. I have no lines for Bit. Excuse me, I'm about to call it Bitcoin. That's what we should call it, Bitcoin. Um, but just looking at this, I have no lines. And again, you see that W down. A funny looking W down. It went down, then back up, stayed there, down, and then back up. The W for the win, fam. Look, you want to see the W for the win down? It went. So just imagine this is an M. That's that W. It went up. Down, up, down. M, W's. Man, listen. This is what you play. Now, um, we're sitting on what I would say currently sitting on kind of some support right now. Uh, if it breaks out of this support, look forward to come down to like this 46. And look forward to come down to like 46, 45. If it breaks that, it's on a free fall. Look for this 33. Because there is no other support. There's literally no other support. Dinosaurs were before they existed. There's literally no further support. So I would say uh, the 30, you know, this 33, you know, dollar level down here. If you see it start free falling. Um, but I would probably say, again, just look at whatever Bitcoin is on. If Bitcoin is on the roof. This thing is going to move. Now, we do have a little bit of a gap back up here to this 77. So, I am going to say, though, just my, just looking at the technical analysis just for a moment. Dude, no more toothpaste. Put the cap back on. Okay. I'm so bad. It's okay. No more toothpaste. Dude about to go through a whole tube of toothpaste. No, 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 no crying. No, no, no crying. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. You're a big boy. No crying. There's no, there's no reason to cry. I told you put the cap back on. There's no reason to cry. Aren't you, aren't you a big boy? Okay, so you don't have to cry. Um, but right now, look for this thing to come up to maybe this sixty dollar level. Oh, Dad. It's okay. Just don't play with it any further, okay? <laughs> so we're looking at this 60. Um, and if we cross this 60, our next step <laughs> is about right here to so this uh, 66. So we'll just call that 65. And if we cross this, we're looking at this 70. So uh, again, keep this in, in stages and steps, okay? So, and again, if we look for it, if it breaks down, Look for it to come down to this 46 and then possibly 33. But you gonna go take a nap? No. Where you going? Okay, go get in your bed and take a nap. Gotta turn this AC on. You're getting hot in there, fam. Uh, my apologies, taking a quick AC break. So let's see. There we go. Jeez. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and look on Coinbase. Uh, let's check this one out. Coinbase. Coinbase. Coin, Coinbase. Gotta get that Coinbase. Get our options. On the fifth, we're gonna look at calls. These calls are pretty pricey. Not that they're pricey, but that's that's a bit much for at the money um, and we was looking at the 60 we're looking at this 60 to come maybe about right here 62 um, so 62 is 80 so I would probably look at this uh, 59 for this 144 um, again it'll be cheaper than this on Monday assuming no no price differential and that it wakes up on this price on market open on Monday. Um, so I hit this 144. And let me say this for me because I got uh, option profit calculator. These things that's coming up on the screen, this has nothing to do with me. I am not promoting any of these things. They ain't getting your boy no money. So these are not paid advertisement. If any of these people see my video, 
y'all want me to promote y'all stuff, let me know what it is I might promote it. Throw your little something on the side somewhere. You hear me? You hear me? All right. But anyway, um, I might just add a Coinbase. I think I'm going to stay out of Coinbase because I don't know. I would have to go and do some technical analysis on Bitcoin. Let's do some quick technical analysis on Bitcoin. Let's look at Bitcoin really quick. Bitcoin. I think it's this one. Yeah. Let's do some quick analysis on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is sitting on some support right now. Uh, if Bitcoin breaks up, if we get Bitcoin to bring back up to like this break over 30,000, look for Coinbase to run back into that $70 because it's currently sitting on some resistance. If Bitcoin brand come back down to this 27, expect Bitcoin to hit that $40 level again, okay? So just looking at it just, you know, relative, like here's that, that run up that, uh, Bitcoin had, I mean, that, uh, let me go ahead and stretch this out. About a week ago when, um, uh, when Coinbase ran up, this is, uh, the same time that Bitcoin started to move into that $30,000 range. So look for it to just follow along. Uh, yeah, so it's sitting on the support. Uh, she's not here. Okay, but anyway, uh, that's where we're at right there. Uh, what we're looking at next? Uh, I'm gonna block a fire, block a fire. I don't know how you spell block a fire. Not that I don't know how to spell block a fire, I don't know what they stock some of this. That's square. Uh, let's go here. What is block a fire? Oh, this is square. Block is square? I didn't know they changed their name. Thought that thing was square. Okay. Uh-oh. A W for the win. It came down. I'm about to bounce back up. Okay, so... Uh, here's our, our low right here at this 51. So Square could come down to this 51. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna assume Square has been doing pretty well. Retail businesses are kind of back in business. Uh, and bounce, which I don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea. But this looks funny. This looks horribly funny. But we got this little bit of gap. Stretch this out like this. We got this little bit of gap. We got like a teeny gap from like the 72, 73 down to 70. So we got like a little two dollar gap. So we could probably play this gap and expect for it to run up uh, to about right here. Um, as you can see, this has been like some resistance right here, um, here, and then we got these like it bounces up. So it was using that support here. Here it's been resistance. Here it was support and it ran up. Um, again, there it was support and it ran up. So I'm thinking right now, and anytime that it's come about right here, um, it has dipped below for a little bit and then it bounced back up. So I'm saying it hit here and it bounced down and then it bounced back up. So I'm thinking uh, we could probably play maybe like a, to play it to about right here. Uh, kind of splitting the difference like where the W is at. You see this W right here, W. Uh, you see like there's a W there. Now, these W's don't look straight out like W's, but you can see the W if you use your mind's eye. I'm like, oh, that is a W. Um, so I'm really thinking we're going to probably come about right here. Uh, again, I'm just kind of splitting the difference. Uh... And we do got a little bit of support here, like a, like some resistance here, using these candles and then using some of these candles back here. Uh, so I'm thinking 
And you might use the knees as well. So I'm really thinking about this 67 maybe. And we would really be hoping that it moves to like this 72, 73 bucks. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out Square. Um, let's go ahead and check out Square. Apologize that this video has been super long. Am I going to chop this up? No way, no how, no sir. Because I ain't got no time for it. This is what I'm doing for you, fam. So watch the video. Don't watch the video. I appreciate if you do watch it. But if you don't, it is what it is. Uh, the $67 call is $78. Now, I would play this based off of open interest and what the deltas were, uh, are going to be um, prior. Because uh, I'm thinking, I'm saying my target is $67. I would love for it to move past $67. So I would really probably like to get the $65 uh, dollar call or maybe even this 63 where was 63 at 63 is like right here so I feel good about it breaking right here but that could be some resistance now that I look at it that could be some resistance because we got these touches here we got that touch there it couldn't pass we got these touches here it couldn't pass so 63 could be some resistance so I would probably split the difference and go for the 63. Uh, so I would probably say if you play this before earnings, maybe look for a push up to 63. And then when earnings come out, if you have enough contracts and you can still hold on to one and you're up, I'd probably tell you to hold on to one because then if it runs up here, you're getting paid. Uh, now I would also say uh, because earnings is on Thursday night, uh, you only have been Friday, so time to care kill you. So if anything, then uh, let's go back here. We may need to look at the next Friday for that one. Um, instead of being like looking at that 63, it's 230 over here. Or if you get the 65 on that 163, and then hope you know it shoots past. If not, again we've got to play to the downside as well, and we're thinking the downside is. Um, it's about this 56, 55, really a strong sub level of support is this 53. Um, and if we're looking at that put, uh, we'll probably do the 55 or the 57. Again, depending on where the deltas are at and the open interest, we'll kind of determine which one. Again, try to get the open interest with the most people in them. Our contracts available so that way to make it easier for you to get in get up and get out um, but that's what I would say to you and same thing kind of with the call if you think it's gonna go up you can support this 230 bucks 235 I would probably tell you go with that one because then you get more time and then this like multiply for you quicker on Friday um, if, especially if you end up being in the minus with the market going to be closing on Friday um, so that's what we got on that one who are we moving to next? Uh, we're going to look at Shopify fairly quickly. Uh, I want to say I've seen Shopify move in the past. Shopify, 50 bucks. I got something with Shopify. I got some prior lines on here I was playing. And you see I drew these lines. I don't know when I drew them out. So just looking where we're at now. Again funny W and sometimes you see W's in W's and sometimes you see M's in M's or a, a M in a W so you can see different things within it um, but if we're looking at this and we scrunch it in we were like okay down up, probably gonna come back down to this 43 and then shoot back up to this 54 um, but we can see we're almost sitting on some support or I guess some resistance. Uh, we just kind of call where it's at now as resistance because you see this candle here. See these candles kind of stopped there. Some of them broke out a little bit. This one didn't. This hit down and then bounced back up and then fell down. And then you can see uh, they've already came and cleared up most of this gap. The gap was from, you know, here, you know, originally to there and it's cleaned up most of that gap. So maybe we can look for this to, 
to possibly push up to maybe this uh what this line is. Click on it. What that price is fifty one thirty. So maybe we can get to fifty one thirty. Um not really doing too much on it with Shopify though. Uh now you Shopify definitely you know consider trading some options on it. I don't know anything about Shopify. And I don't like the prices on these puts and I don't know nothing about Shopify. I don't know anything but I ain't never really I must have traded at least once. Based on not that you say I traded, at least you saw I charted it before. All right, now let's get to the big dog of the week. Apple, Apple. Let's see what Apple's doing. Now, I just made a little bit of money this week playing Apple calls. Uh, I have got the 170 call. Like, uh, today's Saturday. I got like the 170 call on Thursday. They were $0.08 cent or $8. So I got like, I got three of them. And I got out them at an average cost of $32. So, so I went from $8 to $32. So at $24 a contract. So 24 times 3 is what, uh, 72 So I made a quick 72 bucks holding the contract one day. Uh, Could have made a couple of dollars more had I not held it that extra day. Uh, if I would have just got in when I got in Thursday and got out Thursday, I could have got out as high as like 35 36 so you, you're talking about three more dollars a contract. Um, so that's not a lot, but you know, something. Uh, as you can see, I got a ton of lines on Apple because Apple stop all over the place. You'd be like, nope, stop in here, stop in there, stop in here, stop in there, stop in here, stop in there. My like, Apple stops all over the place. But right now, with Apple reporting earnings, I'm betting on Apple to break out to like this 175 uh, would be my guess. Uh, we got a little bit of a gap right here that is starting to come clean up. If it hadn't already technically cleaned it up. So I'm looking for Apple to come to this like 175 level. Just period. That's what I'm looking for. Just period. It's 175. You see this cricket W? W down up. Down up. Down up. It's a cricket W. Uh, and if you look at it the other way, you can look at it as an M. If you start here, it went up, then down. Then up, then down. See what I'm saying? Now, these M's and W's, man. These M's and these W's, man. This is That's that's just where it's at. Um, as you can see, I got me a... Uh, there's a gap down here. Uh, I don't think it's coming to get this gap for earnings. I feel fairly confident people still been buying iPhones. Um, I feel fairly confident they're going to report, report that people started using these new savings accounts that they've just... Um, instituted um, in their platform uh, that's paying like 4% interest rate because um, Apple is just trying to get all y'all cash in place um, now we got to play again we got to be play it safe not you know play it safe we don't want to be wrong um, so it could come back down to this 67 even this uh, like this 65 level um, back down here um, but again, I'm thinking it's coming up to the 75, so it's like right in the middle. Uh, no, I'm supposed to be uh, looking. I'm about to go on my phone. Let's go ahead. Let's go and get these Apple calls up. Apple, Apple. Got to get that Apple. Uh, May 5th. The 175 call right now is $119. I would probably tell you aim for the 177.50, uh, depending on when you get in. If you're looking at even further, you may end up looking at these 180s. Um, if you want to be safe, look at May 12, and then maybe still look at the 180, because if it push up to 175 uh, from where it's at now. Talking about one, two, three. This 55 will probably turn into 164 for next week. Uh, and again, that's the May 12th call. Um, if we're looking at the downside, uh, I was looking at that one. Where are we at? 
165, so maybe I have to look at like the 162. Uh, 162 put is 158 bucks. So that's the one that I would be calling out. And our last play of the day is some speculative stuff. AMC. Uh, if you're an AMC holder, what y'all guys been saying to the moon or to the moon or, or death or some shit. I don't know what in the hell y'all been saying. I mean, that shit don't even make sense to me. Now, here's again, your boy was drawing out these W's. I was like, okay, I drew it out and then I put right here and I was like, um, either it's gonna keep going up because this is where I stopped it at. So on February 27th. So this is literally the last time I've charted anything on, on AMC. It was back in February. So it's two months later and I drew this green line saying, okay, if it keeps running, it's going to go up here. Or if it don't, it's coming down here, back over here. And look where it's at. It's right here. Now, and I almost came to right where I even drew the line. And now these lines, I'd be just kind of like just drawing a little bit. But apparently I've been pretty spot on even to the date. So I don't, I don't know how I'm doing it. But I got some, I got some speculation on how I'm doing, but I keep that to myself. Um... Now, I don't know what they're going to say. I don't know what they're going to say at all. But if we're just looking at levels right now, uh, if we can cross this maybe like 571, something like that, it's like this 571 somewhere in that range, 565. Um, we got this sale, so, you know, this resistance, this is all resistance, this red when you're looking up. Like just going back to those red candles, this is all sellers trying to keep the price down. So just looking at that, and then you see again, we had nothing but sellers this way. Over here, we got all these sellers, and we got buyers. They were able to push through a couple of times, but then the sellers swatted that thing back down. Wow, they did matumbo. Oh, I'm doing it too fast. They were like they hit him with the matumbo. Uh, so, but I do think, just looking at this right now, I do think if you catch it, because you have to catch this perfect, I do feel fairly confident we can probably get a new spike, spike up here. Give me a moment. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. There's somebody at the door. Um, anyway, um, do y'all see the W? It's a funny looking W. Let's hide all this stuff. It'd be a funny looking W. So we got here, uh, no, and let's make it a bigger W because again, I say we got W's inside of W's and M's inside of W's and W's inside of M's. Uh, or maybe this is a W, bro, from up here, right here, coming down, up, it came down, and maybe it's getting ready to come back up. But you have to catch that perfect, bro. You have to catch that perfect. I don't know what dude going to say to push this thing up. I know these stockholders was pissed when dude was like, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that reverse buyback shit. Or uh, not buyback, just reverse stock split. People were like, no, nah, man, you trying to let people off the hook, bro. So I'm not sure. But that could be a W, bro. That could be a W. That could be a W. Nah, but again, just so where you're not, you gotta be, uh, what my guy Keenan say, uh, be prepared, not surprised. AMC could clearly come back to this 4, 450 level. And maybe even this $4 level. So, uh, be careful. Be careful. This one is you gambling. Let's just go ahead and look at what the option prices are, and then we're going to be done with this video. And then we're going to be done with this video. Let's see. That is on Friday. That is on Friday. So if you look at the, the options right now, they're pretty dirt cheap for a call. What are we just looking at? $650? Let's look at the next week. Because they report earnings Friday before close. 
19 bucks. I might get me two. I might get me two. And I might get a 450 put as well. I might get two of these and one of those. Yeah, I'll probably get two of these and one of those. So what we're talking, and that's for the following Friday. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get two of these, these six dollar calls, and one of these four fifty puts. Um, and that might pay out something. Because again, I'm thinking that four fifty is where right here. Where's four fifty? Like right here, where Yeah, that four fifty is like right there. So I like that. In case for the pullback. And then the six dollars. Um, in case it break up to about right here. That'll put us in the money. And it may end up up here around 650. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But appreciate you guys watching this video. It's an hour and a half video, fam. But how many stocks did we talk about? And I showed you guys the option prices on. How many did how many stocks did we look at? We looked at one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stocks in an hour and a half. Fam, let's go. Let's get this money. You guys have a great and amazing day, weekend, whenever you watch this video. I hope you watch it before these things occur so you can get some of this money. Uh, I just look at punk ass for it. I don't know why I keep looking at me. For keep looking at me, bro. That's been some strong resistance. Play four down. I don't know what to tell you. That's all, they ain't selling no cars. They ain't sell, nobody ain't selling no cars right now, right? That's what they're telling us. Nobody's selling cars. And they've been telling us as well. Uh, what do you call it? What they've been telling us as well. They've been telling us as well. Uh, it's hard for people to get finance. Interest rates are up high. So why would they thing be up? Why would it go up? Why else would it go up, right? Why else would it go up? Why else would it go up? There's there's no rhyme or reason for it to go up. But you see this? A W down, down, up, down, and maybe, dude, maybe we need to look at this W, bro. Because then you had this one, you had an M. It's a funny looking M. It went up, kind of down, but don't count this gap down. And then it came down here, back up, and down. See what I'm saying? And if you look at it from this way, it was W, down, up, down, up, W. And just kidding where you started. We had just a M, down, up, down. All these patterns, bro. I'm going to say... If, if what they're saying is true, they ain't selling no cars, bro. So it should come down. So look at maybe the $11 call. If they got eleven fifty, maybe look at that one. Uh, and if you want to be safe, play it both ways. And hope they don't play you down in the middle. Peace, YouTube. Oh, man, my bad. Don't forget to hit that like. Hit subscribe. Share this video. Again, I know it's long. Play it in two times speed. I did not talk very fast. I did not talk. I don't think I talked too quick that you can't play it in two times speed and get through this in 45 minutes. Skip through the video. Look at stocks that y'all want to look at. I'm going to post in the comments uh, the order of the order of each one. So that way you guys ain't got to kind of guess, and that way you can look and see which ones you want to play. Peace and love, you two. Have a great rest of your day.